The blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, guess what? We are actually one nation of people. That's right. But we've been separated and divided into think that that's not your sister. But that's your sister. We're your brothers. According to the Bible, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. You that's see that? Right. So these names that we go by, American, Black, Guatemala, Panama, that's where uh, El Salvador is down there between that region, right? In the, in the, uh, the South American region, right? These are the names that they gave us when they took us into slavery. But God said, you have, uh, your dad is so-called black man? Or what's your dad? Your dad, your dad, your dad, your dad. Malaysia. Okay, so that's still down there. So you guys actually, that's your daddy. So we got Guatemala to Panama, but El Salvador, and, 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 and uh, we have Asher right here. You see that? Asher, Colombia, the Uruguay, down here. These areas of, of the so called uh, South Americas, we all come from these places. Right now, I'm good. So you would be from the tribe of Zebulon, you would be from the tribe of Asher, because both Zebulon, all right? Because guess what? It matters what your father is. Your father is from El Salvador. So according to uh, the tribes of our fathers, is how we get our, our lineage, right? Our pedigree, okay? According to that, the so-called Black, Hispanic, Native American, that's not our name. We are the children of Israel. But we've been given that name in slavery because we broke God's commandment. So now, let me, uh, Isaiah, let me get Isaiah 65. Repent. The scriptures say we got to repent and therefore be converted. We got to change our ways. You understand? We got to understand we be going against this Bible too long. Huh? What would you say? They ain't subscribed yet. So what I'm doing all this teaching for and nobody's subscribing to the page. It's time for you to subscribe. Subscribe to IUIC Los Angeles page. Get up on the latest scriptures, the latest news, the things we bring it out. Because it's here for you. All right? And he said that they're blind out they sin. And he shall see good men for a part unto my chosen. So you see that? God said his chosen people would leave their name, which is your, your, your name and your tribe, for a curse. Because guess what? To call yourself something other than God's chosen people and believe it, that's not a good thing. That's a curse. Read that again. And he shall see good men for a part unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. So the Lord is calling, allowing us to be called by other names because we broke God's commandments. Do you understand that? When we were given the choice to have everything, we didn't go with that. Now I'm going to give you a law, give me Hebrews 13 and 14. Because you said your day, you said your day, you said your day, right? But we want to go over a law that has to do with how our people are supposed to act when it comes to family, marriage, uh, childbearing life. We have laws that we have to abide by that makes us a great nation of people. When we don't abide by God's laws, guess what? We become a nation of people with baby mamas, baby daddies, and things like that, right? And we become dysfunctional when it comes to family. And that's what you see in our community, right? Read. Book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed undivided. So now, when it comes to... Okay, come up, come up. We going over marriage right now. How old are you? 16. My sister's 17. Do you date girls? You date right now? Are you in, you date? No? Okay. The Bible says marriage is honorable. So it don't matter. First of all, how old are you? 43. Now my sister is an older sister, right? She's supposed to know and teach the younger sisters that marriage is honorable. But if she herself is not abiding by the laws of God, how can she teach him? You understand that? So the Bible says marriage is honorable and the bed undefiled when you have a husband. You understand that? Read. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So a whoremonger is a man that sleeps around from woman to woman. We got a lot of that in our community. Because guess what? At 17 years old, if a man has not tried to marry you, but he'll sleep with you, he's using you. 
even at your age. If a man is not trying to marry you, he's using you. Right. Because at any point, he can say, all right, well, I'm done. I like this sister over here. I'm going to go over here and use her now. You understand that? That's why there's no honor in that. When you have a husband, that man is supposed to honor you. He's going to take care of you according to the Bible. And the, the Most High says, whatever you do in your bed with your husband is undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. That judgment goes back to what we said about those curses being on it. You understand that? So, so my question to you is how do we stop that? What do you think we should do? Listen to the word, right? So I'm going to give you an example of how listening to the word will help you have a man that will honor you. Give me um, 1 Timothy 2 and verse 9. Because it, it, it all ties in together, right? You have a boyfriend or what? A sneaky leaf, a jump, a boyfriend, right? Let me show you. A, a, an honorable man of God, he's going to look at you by your appearance, and he's going to know how he's able to deal with you. You understand that? And this is where it starts. Read. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety. What is, what is modest apparel? What does modest mean? It's, it's going into the way you dress, right? Somebody got that definition for me? Somebody get me modest. Because our sisters are supposed to dress modestly. Let me ask you, at 16 years old, right? When, you, when you're looking at a woman for her beauty, right? Do you think a woman that's dressed provocatively or the woman that's dressed covering herself has more honor for themselves? The one that's more covered, right? Because dressing modestly is going to determine what kind of... How you doing, Latoya? Dre oh, you hear what I'm saying? Dressing modestly is going to determine what type of man approaches you for honors and respect you, right? All right, so let's get the definition of modest. Definition of modest. Dressing or behaving as to avoid impropriety or indecency, especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. You see that? So the Bible is commanding our sisters to dress modestly. You shouldn't be dressed in any kind of way to attract sexual attention. Because that's all it's going to be. You see what I'm saying? You're going to get that sex. You're going to attract that sexual her attention. Her and that man is only going to want to use you for that. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Because all three of you ladies, go to Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. All three of you ladies got to learn to dress modestly. Oh, I'm already there. No, you, you already there? Yeah, I've been out here for two years before in Texas, and I don't dress a people Let me ask you, let me ask you something. Right, so the, so the definition says to avoid sexual attention, right? Right. Do parents bring sexual attention? We all got Instagram, right? When our sisters put on those tight pants, what's the first thing they do? Pull them up in all the creases. Look in the mirror to make sure it's being to do what? Attract sexual attention, right? So, what is modest apparel? We're going to show you what's modest apparel according to the Bible. Read. The woman shall not wear it pertaining unto a man. Woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. What is that? Read it again. Read it well, woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Pertaineth means which what belongs to men. What is he talking about? Hold on. Let's see. What's your name? Valerie. Let's see what Valerie is about. We are gonna read it again. The woman shall not wear. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. I'm gonna make it easier. Clothing that belongs to men. I'm gonna break it down. Now. I'm gonna break it down. What's that talking about? Pants. 
right? You said baggy clothes? That's excellent. Pants. Well, let's not make it hard. Pants. Watch, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go into men now. You tell me what this is talking about. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment that men shouldn't wear? You're not sure? I forgot what garment. It's clothes. What are women's clothes that men shouldn't wear? Dresses, right? Today they call it cross dresses. They make it very normal. But this is God talking to his chosen people, the children of Israel. He said, my people is not going to be, that's not what you're going to do. Why? For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. An abomination to the Lord thy God. He sees it as disgusting. Why? Because he knows that when his daughters are dressed in, in a manner that attracts sexual attention, that men are going to dog you. Check this out. I just spotted you right across from the lot, and I'm going to let you know it ain't your booty, it's your beauty. If you see anything suspicious around here, <laughs> let me know, because I got my eyes on everything. Let's start off by getting your number. When a man speaks with you, guess what he's supposed to do? What he's supposed to do when a man speaks with you? Exodus 22, 16. You, know. you don't know? So, do, so we, we just went over marriage being honorable, right? So if a man sleeps with you, my sister right here, she she get it. What's a man supposed to do when 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 he sleeps with you? And if and if he do it before you marry, what is he supposed to do? He's supposed to marry you. He gotta fix that. Because that's a sin. That's breaking God's law. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. And if a man entice a maid. A man entice a maid. Nowadays, we got all these social media outlets, right? And what do they do? They slide in your DMs, right? Ain't that what they call it? They slide in your DMs. And he, 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 they real slick inside the, the private messages, right? And he's enticing you. He's telling you anything and everything he think you want to hear so he can get close to you, right? That's called enticing the maid. Read it again. And if a man entice a maid, that is not betrothed. That means she's not married or promised to another man. Read. And lie with her. And then he lies with her. Meaning his enticing was real good. He got the draws. You got a question? You get a flyer? All right, give us a call, all right? If that man is slick enough to get what you got, right, read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Meaning, according to the Bible, that man is supposed to marry you. Right. Because if he does not marry you, he's making a whore out of you. Yeah. You understand that? And these words is in the Bible. Give me 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9. So what we're trying to do is show you what you got to do as God's chosen people. First of all, fix the way you dress so you don't attract niggas. Because a nigga is going, is going, and I don't mean that in black. I mean a nigga in, in meaning somebody who don't give a damn about his people. You understand that? He's going to, he's going to, uh, the Negro will use you. You know what I'm saying? He will get what you got, get you pregnant. And if he don't feel like you want to stick around, he going to start running. Oh, is it mine? Why can he say that? Because you're not his wife. Because a man who's married, he shouldn't have to be questioning that, right? So let's, he's making a whore out of his sister. You understand that? Let's see if those people can get the kingdom of heaven. What do you say? You think we can continue in this behavior? If I was a man sleeping from woman to woman, or men sleeping with y'all, if you, you continue like that, can we get the kingdom of heaven like that? No. Is God going to accept us like that? No. He's not. So if we know these things, what should we be trying to do? We should be working to correct those things, right? Because you got to know your worth. You got to know where your value is with God. The Lord didn't make you to be used. Guess what we, our women got comfortable with being used? In slavery. Because we've been treated so badly that it's become comfortable. It's become, it's become normal for a woman to allow a man to dog her up. Come closer. Try but it's a car. We going over, that, that's your sister? That's your sister, okay. What we doing is going over marriage. Let me ask, watch this. How old are you? 17, how old are you? 12. Let's say you 20 and your sister is, let's say she's uh, 17, right? 
or however, right? Is it okay if a man comes sleep with your sister but he don't marry her? You see it? You see that? Is, is your father in your life? So, so you, in a sense, it's on it's on you to protect your sister, right? So you would want a man to do what before he sleep with your sister? He got to come marry her, right? Hey, he can't just come take my little sister and come sleep with her, get her pregnant and leave her. This is how the family is supposed to function. You understand that? Because it starts with the father and then the brothers, right? This is what we got to learn to do to protect ourselves and come back as a family. Because we have 12 tribes of people who have been done so wrongly that now it's comfortable for a 16, 17 year old to say that they're sleeping with men, but those men are not marrying them.